In this video, we'll look at the valuation of a company using the multi-stage dividend discount model or DDM. So in this example, we have a public listed company, Rich Co, that has just paid a dividend of 150 per share. So we'll denote this as D0. Now the dividends are expected to increase by 20% per annum for the next three years, which is from D1 to D3, and followed by a 10% growth for the next two years. So that will be D4 to D5. And thereafter, it will stabilize at a growth rate of 4% per annum. And this will go on uh, into perpetuity because it mentioned that this will be a stabilized rate. So using a cost of equity of 12% calculate rich cost intrinsic value using the dividend discount model. So whenever there is a different stage of growth, okay, or in other words, if there is no constant growth rate, okay, which is from uh, the first year to the fifth year, we will just calculate the dividends for those individual years. So what we're going to do now is we are going to calculate D1 to D5. Okay, so on the timeline, what we'll have here is you have 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. So we're going to calculate D1, D2, D3, D4, and D5. Now, after year 5, the growth rate of the dividend will stabilize at 4% after that. So from the year that the growth rate stabilizes, what we'll do is we'll then calculate the intrinsic value okay at the end of the horizon okay the year before the growth stabilizes okay so that's that's the process that we will follow now you can do it in other ways but this is just uh, how i normally do it so let's calculate so we have d1 so d1 will be based on d0 1.5 or 150 multiplied by the growth rate which is uh, 20 percent so i'll take 1.2 so that will give us 180 then we have D2, so D2 will be 150 times 1 1.2 to the power of 2, that's for 2 years. So that will give us 216. And then for D3, there's another 20% growth, so that's the power of 3. So 1.5 times 1 1.2 to the power of 3, so that will be 2.592. And then after that, for year 4, there will be the growth will be 10%. The power of 1. So that will be 2.8512. Then for dividend in year 5, so that will be 150 times 1 1.2 to the power of 3 times 1.1 1 .1 to the power of 2. Okay, so that will give us 3.13632. Now uh, we're going to calculate v V5. So based on the constant growth rate, we'll use the Gordon Gross model. So V5 will be D6 over R minus G, which is uh, the G here will be the long-term growth rate. And D6 here will be based on D5, the dividend in year 5, multiplied by the long-term or the constant growth rate. So the dividend in year 5 is 3.13632 based on what we obtain here. Then we multiply by the long-term growth rate, which is 4% divide by the required return on equity or cost of equity 12% minus the 4% long-term growth rate. So that will give us uh, intrinsic value of 40.7722 okay, at the end of year 5. So bear in mind that if you're using the dividend in year 6, then you're getting the intrinsic value at the end of year 5. Now, you can use the manual way where you will actually discount all of these uh, cash flows or dividend and the uh, value back to time zero using the 12% discount rate. Okay, or you can also use your cash flow worksheet from the calculator. So in this case, uh, let's say if you're using your calculator, we'll have the reset, then we'll just type in all the cash flows. So at CF zero, which is time zero, the cash flow will be just zero. So let's, let's just leave it as zero. CO1 will be the dividend in the first year, so that's 180 enter then co2 will be two dollars and sixteen cents enter co3 will be 2.592 enter then c04 will be 2.8512 enter and then uh, for cash flow in year five bear in mind there is a dividend and the intrinsic value so we'll take the dividend 3.13632 okay 
Then we'll add the intrinsic value that we obtained, 40.7722. Then we'll get the total. Then we'll save this amount. Then we proceed to NPV. So the I will be equal to 12. Press enter. Scroll down and click compute. So the intrinsic value for this particular company, Rich Core, will be $31.90. Okay, so this will be the intrinsic value. Of course, if you, want, if you do not want to use a calculator and you want to do it manually, then you will take the cash flow each year, let's say 1.8, you will take this discount by, uh, by 12%. Okay, uh, every year based on the power of the year. So second year will be 216 divided by 1.12 to the power 2. And you will continue to do this until the final year. That will be 3.13632 plus the intrinsic value 40.7722. Then we'll discount it based on 12% to the power 5. You can do that as well, but of course it will take a longer time. If you use the cash flow worksheet and calculate the NPV, then uh, it will be faster.